Hello, gentlemen. Today, we're going to talk about a blitz out of nickel 245 odd, which is in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive playbook. And the play we'll be breaking down is Sam Mac 3 press. This is not the standard play that people use whenever they use this formation. It's usually going to be like um, pinch zero or pinch two. But this will be a little bit different for you guys. So let's go ahead and come out against Gun Bunch. Let's just do mesh spot. That'll be fine. Now, real quick before I get into the breakdown, I just want to let you guys know if you're a member on the site, I'm posting three new videos tomorrow. How to defend quarterback rap, how you should be trying to defend the ag glitch, as well as a state of mutt video, which is going to be like just a gameplay of me playing. And then while I'm playing, I'm going to be talking about what cards I think are really good right now. And then the abilities you should be using on your team. Uh, it's almost going to be like a tier list for abilities, but I'm probably not going to do it quite like a tier list. But, you know, it'll just be like, it'll show you the best abilities in the game. So if you guys are interested in that and you're not a member, acemadden.com, become a member. You'll gain access to all of our eBooks. Then if you're a pro member, you'll, be, you'll get the tips as well. Just use code ACE for 15% off at checkout. All right, let's talk about the Blitz. So what we're going to do, base line, so wire triangle, left stick right, hit wire triangle again, to open the menu again, left stick down, that's going to base line and press. So there we go. After this, we are technically set up. However, I like to move this guy out. What this is going to do is it's going to help if they try to like ID him. Um, it's going to make it harder for them to pick this, pick this blitz up. But the reason this blitz is really good is this guy. This guy is going to crash so far outside that he occupies the tackle. So it's kind of like a stunt between this guy and the defensive end. And then you can blitz your user if you want to. Um, you're going to be dropping into coverage anyways, but you don't really need to do this part. And you can see this guy's going to come straight down. So it's a five-man blitz comes in clean versus five. Go ahead, look at it. And I'll show you, you can make it a four-man as well in just a second. So as you can see, look at that linebacker. He gets so far outside that the defensive end that's coming in really isn't necessary. So you can actually drop him into coverage. I'll go ahead and man him up to the running back. So how I did that was D-pad left twice, select X, and then right stick up, and then met him up to the running back. I think that's the best adjustment. And what you're gonna see is that it's still going to come in clean. That was actually relatively slow, um, but he is going to come clean because this linebacker, like I said, he gets so far outside that he's gonna occupy this tackle. And then the guard is not gonna recover and be able to pick up this, this guy coming off the edge. So I have uh, Shaq Barrett over here. If you run an edge threat, this is the kind of thing he's going to do. Unless they have edge protector. He's just going to completely destroy this guy. And it it's almost like double edge pressure. So let's do it again. Base align. Press. Motion this guy out a few steps. Then you have the option to man up to that running back. Now if you do that, I would recommend blitzing your user. And that's just going to help the blitz come in even more often do it again it's right here boom left guard is just not going to recover so the four men comes in clean the guy over there is not necessary to make the blitz come in the defensive end now what happens if they block the running back let's go ahead and take a quick look i'll go ahead and leave that guy that defensive end blitzing so we'll do it like this. We'll block the running back and let's just see what happens. So just like that, the blitz is not picked up. Our edge threat still comes in. But, you know, when you run a blitz, you kind of want somebody to come in clean instead of a pass rush win. But this blitz is definitely not that. It's not that kind of blitz where um, if they block the running back, you're going to have double edge pressure. You're really relying on this edge threat to win. Um, I tried messing with a way to make it so we just get double edge. Um, and, you know, you'd have to, like, blitz your slot cornerback. And then I would say probably have to move him in. And then if you move him in, you probably can't get over here and motion this guy out. And it just makes it a little bit harder. Let's do it again. As you can see, boom, it comes in now with the blitz slot cornerback. So if you guys want to do that, you can. Um, I would say, especially against Bunch... You probably don't want to leave him blitzed out here. And the reason for that is you're going to see, depending on the route the tight end is on, what's going to happen is 
that blitzing slot cornerback is usually going to just not do shit. He's going to get bumped by the route or he's going to try to jam the route and then continue on his blitz. And then he just he's never in the play, really. Um, right here, it looks like he just gets tripped up on the right tackle because Shaq Barrett's just a demon. He's just, just destroying over there every single rep. Um, but yeah, that's what I would recommend. If you're going to blitz this guy, you probably should move him in. And then if you start doing that, you're going to want to move him in regardless and then leave him on a zone or on a man up. You could do it like this. Um, and then something like this. It's just hard to move two guys. So if you move your slot cornerback, you're probably not going to be able to move that edge guy. And then at that point, your blitz is going to come in less often. Take a look at it. See if it happens. Uh, the looper comes in that time. It'll be one of the two, especially if you keep them close in together. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you that blitz because I thought it was kind of unique because of that linebacker blitz angle. It's going to catch that tackle every single time, which allows us to get a plus one versus an unblocked running back. And that's always helpful. So hope you guys enjoy. Drop a like if you did. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Madden 23 content. I'm trying to post pretty close to daily. And then if you guys need additional help, you want to win more games, acemadden.com. Become a member. Use code ACE for 15% off at checkout. See you guys tomorrow.